hello guys welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so this is week one assignment of the course cyber security and privacy so guys for the past five years we have been giving solutions for various NPDL courses so for this season we are also giving cyber security and privacy course so i tried my best to give you the most probable solutions guys if there are any changes definitely i will update that in the comment section if i get come if it come to my notice so please give your opinion in the comment section if you differ with any of my solutions guys so please watch the video till the end let's see the first question a malicious email attack targeting a specific user or group of users appearing to originate from a trusted source is called as what so for first question the answer is first option spear phishing spear phishing so mark first option as correct answer for first question next second one a malicious attack where hackers encrypt an organization's data and demand payment to restore access is known as what so for second question the answer is second option ransomware it is ransom where so mark second option moving on to the third question guys third one which of the following characteristics are most likely to be found in a phishing email So for the third question, if you see all these three options are correct only guys. So mark all the above as the correct answer for third question. Next, moving on to the fourth one. From a managerial perspective, information security is a generally understood as what so for fourth question the answer is fourth option is product technology and process so mark fourth option next moving on to the fifth question now the practice of keeping an organization's network infrastructure secure from unauthorized access is known as what so for fifth question the answer is second option is network security network security so mark second option next moving on to the sixth one so before getting into the sixth question i want to make a small announcement guys so that is regarding exam preparation mcqs exam preparation mcqs for the course cyber security and privacy so with five years of nptl experience we have collected this so here we are providing you 115 plus mcqs guys in a google drive pdf link so these are the previous years assessment questions so 115 plus mcqs available guys so for one person it is 150 rupees and if you take it as a group of five members you can combine get it for 500 rupees only guys so for each person it will take 100 rupees only if you take it as a group of five members if you are only one one to four persons you can get it for for one person it will be 150 rupees guys so if you want to purchase then mail me to this email id guys bk179417 at the red gmail.com so if you want to purchase the pack then only mail me guys so this is the mail id i will give the same email id in the description box as well as in the comment section so 115 plus mcqs guys you will get that in a google drive pdf restricted link so you can easily scroll the pdf you can search the pdf you can easily revise the pdf so easy to revise guys so for one person it is 150 for five persons combined it is 500 guys so please share this news within your whatsapp student groups and take it combinedly to reduce the individual price case so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions so next sixth question guys which of the following statements most accurately reflects 
the complex role of technology in cyber security. So for sixth question, the answer is first option. Technology acts as both a source of threats and a tool for defense. So mark first option as correct answer for sixth question. Now let's move on to the seventh one. So dash is a manipulation technique that exploits human weakness to gain private information access or valuables. To gain private information access or valuables. So for seventh question, the answer is third option is social engineering. Social engineering. Next, eighth one. True or false question, guys. The word cyber in cybernetics originates from the French language. Is this true or false? It is false, guys. So it is actually from Greek, but they have given from French. So it is wrong. Wrong statement. That is false statement. Next, ninth one. The impact of a cyber security incident on organizations can include what? So it may include financial loss, reputation damage, regulatory fine as well. So all of the above is the probable solution for ninth vision. That is fourth option base. And moving on to the final question of the assignment, that is 10th. So before moving into this 10th question, I want to once again make you remember, guys. So we have collected the exam preparation MCQs. So you'll get a huge number of 115 plus MCQs, guys, in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So for one person, it will be 150 rupees. And for five persons combined, it is 500 rupees, guys. So please discuss this with your friends and class classmates and form group of five members and purchase this for 500 rupees only combinedly, guys. So mail me to this email ID if you want to purchase this. I will give the same email ID in the description box as well as in the comment section. So that's it guys. Now let's see the last solution. Last question solution. So this one is also a true or false question. A vendor guarantees that their IoT solutions are 100% safe from cyber attacks. The statements can be, the statement can be true or false. So for 10th and final question, the answer is false because no one can guarantee uh, the uh, IoT solutions are 100% safe for cyber, from cyber attacks. So friends, these are the solutions for week one assignment of cyber security and privacy course. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and definitely share this with your friends and classmates guys. So keep supporting us like this. So please purchase this 300, 115 plus MCQ spec so that you can get better preparation and practice guys. So that's it guys. So until the next video, goodbye. Thank you. Please share this with your friends and classmates guys. Goodbye.